something like this. Got some otters. All right, so this is the paper map I was given right at the entry. So it's a good sized facility. Lots to see and do. So we're gonna get started. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Corpus Christi, Texas and today I'm visiting the Texas State Aquarium. I just got my hat from the gift shop. Place just opened at 10 o'clock. Majority of the facilities here are indoors. There's a chance of rain around two o'clock, but by that time I should have seen everything. There are some outdoor portions. I'm going to check out after the Gulf of Mexico, which is the first area I'm gonna check out. And hopefully we'll get to see lots of interesting sea critters. I do enjoy the aquariums, all the beautiful aquatic fish and other waterfowl and other assorted critters that share the world with us. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna start here in Gulf of Mexico. So you see from the map where we are, Corpus Christi Bay. We're right here in Corpus Christi. And the Gulf of Mexico is very close. Right up first. Maybe some checkered puffer. Atlantic like croaker. Fish. There's a checkered puffer all the way in the back. Got this nice tank here. Put real live ducks. Got some southern stingray. Some green heron. Hardhead catfish. White ibis. Red drum. Striped mullet. Gap tough sail catfish. And redhead duck. Redhead duck. There's the heron. Big old stingray. I don't know, but we are supposed to say do not touch. This is not the touch. Okay. Another cute little duck. And there's the white ibis. Got American alligator. And rear gand cichlid. Let's see the alligators. Another alligator over here on the side. Didn't want to be in the water with his friends. And of course you got all the Rio Grande cichlids. All right, this tank here has some lined seahorse. Just love these little guys swimming around. Yeah. 
Got some of the touch tanks here, and we got hermit crabs. When I was a kid, I had hermit crabs. Let's see your little legs moving around. We also have a lot of empty shells in here, so the crabs can choose to upgrade to a larger household if they choose to. In this one, they have hermit crabs, and also they have some urchins. This tank has a slipper lobster. Got some right here. He's got the name because he looks like a slipper. Well, from this vantage point, anyway. This tank has some turbo snail and sea cucumber. We got a giant red hermit crab. He's got another shell in there you can switch to. Oh, yeah, it's, it's terrifying looking. Look at that. We got some shrimp. Let's just swim around. This tank has some dwarf seahorse. They are itty bitty. This tank here. Got gray snapper, sergeant major, and a red snapper. There's also a honeycomb moray eel. Almost missed them here on the bottom corner. There's a puffer too. Got sergeant major. Puffer fish are cute. <laughs> We've got a horseshoe crab. These things are really cool looking. We've got this big tank called Fish on the Bottom. Atlantic Spade Fish, Gulf Toad Fish, French Grunt, Southern Flounder, Striped Burfish. And scorpion fish. Scorpion fish is really interesting looking. There's the flounder. Didn't even see him until he moved. So he lay flat. And they blend in so well. And Texas State Aquarium, Partners in Conservation. This is some of the debris that was taken off of animals in the past three years, usually attached to sea turtles, mostly all fishing lures, the fishing line. We got this rounded tank and it's all full of false herring. They all moved to the top. This tank here. Got reef butterfly fish, blue tang, and cherub fish. 
These guys got all sorts of rocks to be around. They're chasing each other. There's a little colorful fishy on the bottom. These are called top dwellers. Got chain moray, pork fish, purple mouth moray, and fringed filefish. Now it's going to be very difficult to see. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. But there's one of the eels down here on the bottom. And of course, bottom dwellers. It's all mushroom coral. This little tank's got scallops. And striped hermit crab. Got striped birdfish, squirrel fish, blue tang, sergeant major, gray angel, and green moray. See a sergeant major. The gray angel, very easy to tell. Not always easy to see the eels. You can be very elusive. It's probably just hanging out behind the rock somewhere. So a lionfish, very evasive species in the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic. Do you know why we um, really care about them in the Gulf of Mexico? They are non-native to the Gulf and can you know what that happened? They're invasive. Yeah, they're an invasive species. That makes sense. They're actually from the Pacific Ocean and they made their way here and they compete with local fish. Very evasive eat, uh, ravenous eaters. A big tank we're going to see some blue tang, some Spanish hogfish, some look down, French angelfish, and pork fish. To look down, because he's always looking down. It's a replica of a oil platform of the bottom portion, anyway. All the fish that would live around it. Seen here some nurse shark. Northern red snapper. Yellow tail snapper. And we got some treble jack. is listed I do not see the nurse shark typically they're on the bottom maybe she's at the fish hospital you know tending to all the injured fish Got saving sharks where science and sharks meet this little tank has some yellow tang and some cat shark when cat sharks are here all clustered together. And sharks aren't important. Yeah. Replica shark cage. Divers would get into this. And it would protect them from the sharks while they are able to 
photograph them and study them. It is a big shark. Look at the size of this thing. With a short touch tank. These are the less dangerous types of sharks. So you can pet them. We got horn sharks, white spotted bamboo shark, epaulet shark. A horn shark. I like this one. With the two big spots on its side. Two fingers gently on the back. Absolutely. This tank they got bamboo shirt. Oh boy, we got this big tank here. Look at this. A plethora of different types of fish. A whole bunch of different fish. The screen didn't list all of the fish species in here. It doesn't appear to be working. Yeah, got the aquatic nursery. Got some juvenile white spotted bamboo shark. They're so cute. And got moon jellies. One's on the left are between 1 and 30 days old. The other one are 31 to 60 days old. And these are 61 plus days old. So they grow pretty quick. Do you love the jellyfish? I keep hoping to see peanut butter fish, but I've never been lucky enough to see one. Some other jellyfish. Giant Pacific octopus. Got this tank. It's a giant Pacific octopus. This tank has upside down jellies. It's weird because it looks like the bottom of the tank is moving. Oh, we got the Atlantic Sea that old. Yes, sir. Got all of the stingers on them. Those stingers. Look at their tentacles. Yeah, I see one. I see one. We got fish eating an enemy. Oh, and Nemo and his dad Marlin better stay away from these. But it's got fish in there. I guess you don't like the taste of these fish. All right, so of course these are bottom rose dolphin. Dolphins. Nice underwater viewing area for them.
got Stingray Lagoon. Oh, I'm like Penny. Yeah, but feed You can pet the stingrays. Otter Creek. Yay. They're cuddling with each other and playing. You can see they have lots of water and a nice slide. So they are around the outside. They're best shape is different. Oh, I got Tortunga K. These are green sea turtles, in case you didn't realize that. Yeah. We have to get a picture of the two of us together. Yes, definitely. So we can send it. No, I'm not. <laughs> Her, Gloria, and Karen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at my surprise for the... We got swamp tails. And we got American alligator. They are so cute. I really do enjoy the alligators. Oh. Got some turtles. Their signage stating that this habitat is being redone for a new critter. So there's nothing in here at the moment. They have some interesting sculptures made of all sorts of plastics that were collected off from the beaches. This is Reggie the Redfish. All plastic trash. This is called Terry the Atlantic Green Sea Turtle. Alright, I don't see too many more people coming, so we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome again to TSA, it's a Portuguese called Dolly the Bottlenose Dolphin. Just the massive amounts of plastic. We are here at the food stand. The aquarium also has a splash pad for the kids to play in. Changing cabanas are available. Next up is Caribbean Journey. It's up this escalator. Now this is nice. First up. Show the critters that will be on the right hand side that we'll be seeing. Yes, they look like they're smiling. Tropical lowland forest.
Nice. Oh, that was nice. Now you got the wetland forest and Caribbean flamingo. Very, very, very chatty. Try to get the plants out of the way. There we got flamingos. Well, they were all in agreement. And right in the center, we got a couple scarlet ibis. There are some of the birds that will be around. A pretty scarlet macaw. Mussy smell to this place. A couple more scarlet ibis. Got a Cuban false chameleon. There he is. Yeah, poison dart frog. See several of them here. Got emerald tree boa. Very nice. Got mangrove forest. Caribbean Sea Overlook. I think we'll see this down below. Yeah, we saw this tank. The Southern Screamer. Got blue hole overlook. There's the coral reef tank that we saw. Just the above view. It's the intertidal stingray touch tank. See a hermit crab in there also. Now they all have their barbs removed. Yeah, so we trim their barbs every two to three months with soft tuna clippers. Oh. Ah. Yeah, very quick, easy, painless process. They're pretty used to it. Does not hurt the animals as they grow back, you know, she just said. Yeah, you are more than welcome to touch if y'all want. Two fingers gently on their back. Got a starfish in here you can pet also. 
Show them a paw. Blue and gold in the car. Got a Brazilian Algati. Cute. And same habitat with the macaws. Got a red tailed boa. Vampire bats. It's difficult to see, but there is a bat. So it's right there. All right, so we are downstairs. Green moray eel. Also black edge moray eel. Definitely see the green moray eel. Do not currently see the black edge moray. Right, actually, that other one was the black edge, just the green moray. You can see the black edge moray. Zip up top. Green moray. You see some orange file fish. And blue head wraiths. This is what we're going to see in this tank. Caribbean coral. Well, of course, you gotta gotta have some fish in here, otherwise it's kind of boring. But it's all real coral mixed in with the purple rocks. Pretty fish. So we saw this tank from the top part. That's what's in here. Yeah, red lionfish. Garden eels. Hit the wrong floor. That's them. Okay. So let's go. You guys going down below. And they poke their heads out. Man, got this awesome rounded tank. The Mesoamerican coral reef. Again, got to have various fish in here. But this is all living coral. Side view 
with a bubble dome. So you can see how the lionfish. Again, tarpon. I think we're going to see some Caribbean spiny lobster. Black bar soldier fish. We see one of the lobster tails. A few more lobsters down in this little cave. Oh, we got this awesome tank. This would be the Caribbean Sea. Or Caribbean, depending on how you pronounce it. Got some sharks. And it goes through the tunnel. What's so inside here? A brown shark. Now, oh, this is cool. Well, it's a half tunnel anyway. We've got an eel enjoying the shipwreck. Hi, eel. Some sharkies. Hi, shark. Again, real coral. Got a cannon. Downs. You see the brown shark. What's up, fish? Dun 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 dun. That's a nice looking shark. There's supposed to be a spotted eagle right in here. I've rewalked this several times and I just don't see it. So it's hiding. That's a really cool tank. All right, so we exit through the gift shop. This is the same gift shop that I got my hat when I first got here. Right here in the lobby, you have some more plastic art. 
made on trash. They're seahorses. There's information about it. All right, everybody, this concludes my visit to this Texas State Aquarium in Corpus Christi, Texas. I had a fantastic time. It's a really awesome facility. Quite impressed with the overall layout of the place. Awesome facility. Glad it was no rain. So leave me some comments down below what your favorite area of the aquarium was and what your favorite aquatic life form is. Comments and questions, always welcome. Always respond to comments within a few days. Not already subscribed, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel. That will enable me to go to more places. So thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.